Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name's Chris and this is Rare Channel Legends and this is the playthrough guide. So today we're going to be talking about Clan Boss. Uh, so Clan Boss is a major feature in this game. Um, it's basically a giant boss that you can kill when you join a clan. And uh, it gives you daily rewards. So this is a really good thing to get into straight away. It's going to give you some uh, armor pieces as well as gems and art also, yeah, artifacts uh, and you can also get shards from this as well um, and potions and skill books so very worth uh, getting into this as well as early as possible so you can kind of like concentrate on your team as well and with the introduction of battle pass it's also uh can also be a daily challenge so use one clan boss key uh, so we're going to be hitting that one today um, how's it doing it so yeah, as in previous videos, as we're concentrating on our campaign, we want to kind of like uh, dip out every now and then to just you know spend a key or two in the clan campaign in the clan on the clan boss. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, we'll go for that today. All right, if you go into battle and scroll across, you can see clan boss here. At the minute, it's locked. It says clan members only, so we can't currently fight. But if we click on it, um. We'll have a message pop up and it'll say join a clan now and we want to click OK. Um, and these are clans. So clans is just a, a, a team of people um, that can accomplish goals for, for points to rank up. Um, as far as I'm aware, there's no benefit from this. And the only reason to join a clan at the minute is to be able to attack a clan boss um so when you're starting off unless you've got some friends that you want to play with and kind of like be in the same clan uh when, when you start off you could just jump into one that is um just which is just a free to join one well, they're all free to join but one way you don't have to apply to join you can just click the join button um with this list at the minute we don't have any of those these are all applied to join so if we click on one of these, we see enter a, group, a message uh, you want the clan leader to read and then send application, but then you have to wait for them to, to respond. But we're not looking for one of these. Um, the little information tab on these clans uh, sometimes have a description here, shows you their rank. And there's all like these little achievements here. They're like summon 2000 champions using mastery shards. This is collective over your whole clan. Um, and this just ranks you up with points. Um, it'll also tell you how many members are in there, but it'll do it on the previous screen as well. And you can go into the members to see. Uh, these are all low level members. They're all like tier one uh, bronze in arena. All right, okay. So let's see if we can do a refresh. Keep going down it keeps going down okay we should be in sooner or later we're gonna <laughs> come across one that just says join ah uh, here we go um yeah so these guys we're looking for kind of like early early members one that's like got a low clan power i think these are a bit too high for us fair but we could just go in there anyway claw it uh, just click the join button and we're in. Let's show you remember all oh, these are like pretty low anyway. I think this might be a clan that's just been left. Like no one's really done anything. Uh so we're joining a clan. If we go to our there is somewhere where we can leave. I don't know where the leave button is. But now we're in a clan. We have access to clan boss. Um We'll go into that just in a little second. Uh, so like I said, we're battle pass. We've got this objective that's come up. You don't have these in dailies. This is not a daily function to to defeat, you know, to use the key in clan boss. Um, and also in missions. I don't think this comes up until much, much later down the mission. So you don't have to worry about it too much there. Uh, it's just purely for the battle pass and to get the daily rewards, which is always a benefit. So let's go into the clan boss. 
Um, so on our right side we have the difficulty levels. We've got easy, normal, hard, brutal, nightmare and ultra nightmare. Um, with this clan it doesn't look like they've cleared easy yet. So the only one you'll be able to do is easy. Um, so it's got the health bar on there. It's 93% health. And it's got total health and HP remaining. Uh, there's a timer. This timer here is... Uh, or 10 minutes 10 hours 37 minutes and 38 seconds until the clan boss resets so after that time this is going to go back up to 100 percent hp and then you start again on the left side here we've got uh the people that have attacked the clan boss so far how many keys they've used how much damage they've done and the teams that they have used that they last used to do that damage and how much team power they have for that um Okay, so they're hitting pretty low, like really low. Um, so if we click on this box here, this is going to give you the reward tab. Um, so there's four different test uh, chest types: novice, novice, adept, and warrior. Well, okay, only three different <laughs> chest types. These two are both novice chests. Then you get adept, and then you get warrior. And there's a damage dealt uh, meter by that, which just means if you deal in between these amounts of damage, you get this. You can claim this chest at the end. If your clan manages to defeat the clan boss within the time, then you get uh, double the chests of whichever one you land on. Uh, so hopefully in this video we should be able to at least get a novice chest. Uh, so let's get into it. We've got I've got twelve keys for some reason. I've just been saving them up from the start. We get loads of keys and I haven't used them. Um, but again. Uh, our maximum limit is two keys. Um, when we run out of keys, there's a regeneration period. I think it's like six hours for a key. Uh, I could be wrong there, but it's yeah, you can get like four keys in one in one day to use. Um, let's go for a battle. Use a key. Right. So now we need to set up a team. This is a team of five champions. Um. So we can filter with the champions if needed, but we have a, a <laughs> not that much of a selection here, so I kind of have an idea of what, what I want to use. Uh, this is why Kale is one of the best champions to get st straight away, because he has loads of poisons, which is very useful against this type of boss. Um, I'm going to use War Maiden, which can heal. Um, then I want to go into these champions just yet because I feel like that would be uh, a little bit unfair considering if this is just as this is a staff guide a lot of people won't have these champions I'm gonna try and keep it as true to uh, take out as much randomness as possible uh, I'm gonna use this guy because he's got gear I'm gonna use him I'm just gonna use these guys these guys are like those I've been playing with team power is 20 let's see how much damage we do uh, okay, so uh, you can manual this. Some most of the times you do want to be manual it, so you can select which spells are being used. We got two poisons off the bat, which is brilliant. Um, we are gonna wanna get some crit rate, and then we're gonna wanna try and get a different uh, kale to attack again, which didn't work out. Let's increase damage as well. Uh, so yeah, we get hit pretty hard on that. Uh, so this is the clan boss's health. This is his current affinity on the left side, which is void. It stays void until he gets half halfway through his HP, and then he switches to a random affinity um, for the rest of the battle, which changes his move sets slightly. Got all these abilities up here. Um, is immune to everything. And that just basically increases the damage inflicted. Uh, from the 10th turn, and after the 50th turn, he will. Uh, uh, unkillable buffs won't be effective on him anymore. Um, oh, what's this? 
increases the damage Demon Law receives from HP burn and poison buffs, as well as skills that inflict damage based on enemy max HP. Okay, it just decreases those skills. Uh, attacks all enemies, and these are his like attacking skills. So he attacks all enemies, he attacks all enemies, and places a 2.5% poison debuff for two turns. And he attacks one enemy and places a stun debuff one turn. This debuff cannot be resisted. Damage inflicted is proportional to enemy max HP. So he's got three attacks while he's in void form. And that's two AoE attacks and one single target damage attack. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, like it says in this skill buff, if you have a, a champion that does damage against enemy max HP, they're not going to be able to do um, a true amount of damage. It'll be capped at a certain level. Same with poisons. Um, they are capped at a certain level as well. Um, if we get 5% poison on, on easy, they're going to do 20,000 damage per tick. If it's 2.5, it's going to do 10,000 damage per tick. Um, so Kao can actually do 2.5% two, 2 poisons and 5% poisons. So we're going to want to use his A1 and get some more poisons on him. Because that's where most of our damage is going to come from. Uh, we're just going to go with that A1s on this. It's an extra turn, does a bit more damage. This guy, just normal attack. Uh, and again, just normal attack. So, land boss is going to have a turn soon, so we're going to want to try and heal. We probably won't be able to, but I'm just going to put it on Kale. Everybody can get some more poisons on this guy. How much? Just seeing how much damage that one does. Uh, more poisons. Hopefully he can survive another two turns and get his uh, big 5% poisons on there again. Doesn't look like that's going to happen, but we can always try. Um, the only reason like you want to sometimes manual this is because uh, Kale's got three attacks. So if you put him on auto, he's going to use his big attack first, then he's going to use this one whenever that's on uh, cooldown. When the last off cooldown, every few turns is going to automatically select that, uh, which is going to do damage. That's fine, but it's not going to apply poisons, which we, which is what we want on this boss. So it's just going to reduce his effectiveness slightly. Hopefully, we can get some five percenters on. Yes, you can see there. Like whenever he takes a turn, that damage just pours off him. Uh, let's try and get some five percenters again. Uh, so let's just finish out with this one, see if we do any damage. Yeah, so even using the A1, it's going to do more damage uh, as a single target attack. Okay, yeah, so we're doing 376,000 damage on this on this boss. Um, it's not great, but it's our first attempt at it. So, And we have a lot more character building to do as well. Um, so we're just on this one for our battle pass, but ideally you want to be like creating a clan boss team and then building them up for the clan boss uh, which sh um, The the normal strategy is to get some defensive champions and That are gonna help keep your team alive and then get some poison uh, Damage champions that inflict loads of poison um, and that's mainly where you're going to get your damage from in this boss. You want to be able to survive as long as you can while doing as much damage as you can and that's mainly going to come from poisons. 5% poisons ideally. Uh, HP burns work as well really well. Uh, but finding champions with that are a little bit harder. Uh, there are some rares that do HP burns which is always a, a good addition to have. Um... So yeah, where are we? We're like we're like third with one key. So we're not doing as bad as these guys. Um so I think we fall short of actually getting a chest. Oh no, we land in this this area. Okay, so we do get a chest from that, which isn't too bad. Um right, how much have we, we got three seven six? So we could potentially get over that and get to Adept Chess, which gives us slightly better rewards. Um,
Yeah, so, like, as a, a clan as a whole, you stay in this clan now until you leave the clan or get removed from the clan. And you won't be able to do normal until Easy, the clan boss on Easy, has been had his HP reduced to zero within the time limit. Um. Yeah, I'll leave it for now. Let's uh, round up this video. Um. So yeah, so clan boss is always something uh, really good to to dip into while you're concentrating on your campaign and leveling up first. Um. Like I said, ideally you want to have a separate team for clan boss because you want to build them slightly differently. But at the start of the game to mid game, you can kind of use characters that you use throughout the whole game. Uh, it's not as much of a big issue starting off. Uh, starting off with, but yeah, we were able to do our, our daily challenge and our battle pass as well. So that's a bonus. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you have any more questions about clan boss or clan boss or anything else that I've covered in the previous videos then please leave a comment and uh, I'll get around to doing a, a more in-depth detailed video if you'd like that um, if you liked any of, this, uh, any of the content in this video if it helped you in any way then please leave a like and subscribe and ring that notification bell and hopefully I'll see you again in the next video take care